When two store managers at a grocery store in Louisiana heard that eight of their employees were high school seniors whose graduation had been canceled, they held a graduation ceremony in the store stockroom and handed out diplomas to each student. I love this story so much. From Slidell, Louisiana, please welcome store managers Janelle and Jimmy and their eight recent graduates. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, Ellen, I'm Janelle. Hi. This is... I can't believe you're here. I mean, no, it's great. Um, we, you're our hometown hero. We're so excited. We never thought in this lifetime we'd ever get to talk to you. And we're so proud of you, your positivity, your message. You brighten our day every day. I, I'm telling you, I watch you in the evening. I watch you before I go to work. We all watch you. You make us, you just make this world a better place and we can't thank you enough. Well, she's right, you know. Thank you so much, Janelle. So far, you're my favorite person there. <laughs> so this, this is exciting that I get to say hello to you and thank all of you for being frontliners, just just working every single day, keeping us fed and 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 you know, taken care of. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. And uh, you you work at Winn Dixie, which is and it's near my hometown. I know Slidell very well. And uh, so I'm really happy that I'm getting to say thank you to all of you. And so I have the uh, graduates. I can I can figure out who's who. I know Jimmy, you're the one that's not Janelle, and the other ones are the graduates. I've I've deducted that. Good work. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Because they have robes on, Andy. Smart. Yeah, Andy can't see. He's outside. Um, so when did you find out that uh, graduation was canceled? Um, well, hi Helen. I'm Ronnie. Um, for us, it Hi, was all at once. It was the five hours before prom. Everybody was ready. We had our dresses and suits on. Everybody was ready to spend like one of the last nights with our high school friends that we were going to get. And then it was five hours before we got the call that not only weren't, we weren't getting prom, but we weren't getting a graduation or the rest of our senior year. Like we all thought we were going to get after four years. So. Wow. Yeah. What a, it's, it's, it's just, I mean, it's, it's hard for everyone, obviously, but when you're graduating um, and the, and then your whole final senior year was cut short, that, that must really hurt. Hey, hey uh, I'm Owen. Great to meet you. And yeah, it's, it was very hard in the moment. It was definitely a shock and we we're all in this together where it's all very shocking, but as it got farther on, we all know why it happened. We see that there's a bigger picture. So we're all going through this hard situation and we see that going through this hard moment is just gonna make us stronger in the end. That yeah, it's hard times, but we keep moving forward, stay positive. I absolutely agree. And I think it's times like this, it, it shapes you in a way that, that you probably would, you're gonna turn out to be a different kind of person because of this. And I think for the better, because you're learning so much more <laughs> Than, than that with this life experience than you would have just finishing your senior year. So you, we, we have to look for the silver lining and that is it, that we're all connecting in different ways and we're appreciating, you know, people that we took for granted before. And, uh, and I think that's really what we all have to look at. And Janelle, you came up with the idea to have the graduation in the store. How did you come up with that and why? Well. These kids are always upbeat. So I went to Jimmy, we call him Mr. 212, and uh, and mentioned, hey, can we put this thing together? And he said, go for it. So we invited the parents, and we kept the distance, as we should, and they were just thrilled. And it was something that, at the end, too, they got a, uh, and you can appreciate this, a toilet paper cake, individual cakes, um, because, you know, uh, and we have a little diploma in there with their names on it. So it's something they can remember forever. That's so fantastic. And Jimmy, you gave the commencement speech and handed out diplomas. How, how was that for you to give the commencement speech? It, it was pretty easy. Our, our purpose at Win dixie is that you can count on us so they can count on me. Um, not a great public speaker, a little nervous about it, but um, you know, got the message across to them that they could dream big, set goals. It's okay to fail at that goal. Just get back up, and you you will eventually succeed in um, life and do what you want to do. That's that's a good commencement speech. So Janelle, Jimmy, you're clearly amazing, and uh, I'm officially naming you my employees of the month. Woo
<laughs> and do you know what that means? Whenever you're the employee of the month, you're Ellen's employees of the month, you're both getting tickets to come to see one of my 12 days of giveaway shows when this is all over. <laughs> You have no idea. All right. Yeah. I think she does. Well, <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to meet you and in person. Uh, I have something for the graduates when we come back. I'm going to take a break. We'll be back with something for the graduates. We are back with some of the Win Dixie employees in Slidell, Louisiana, uh, and they're on the front lines every single day. Um, what has it been like for, for y'all? Is it it's is it it's scary? I mean, you're you're making sacrifices to be there to supply all of us with the things we need, knowing that it's it's risky out there. Hi, Ellen. I'm Mason. It's so nice to meet you. I'll Hi. Getting to uh, it just makes us feel proud that we're able to help the people because so many people are still social distancing, and a lot of them haven't been out the house in a week or two. So just getting. To be that one person they finally get to interact with and just making sure you have a smile on your face and making sure they feel safe and are able to get in and out of the store with the best experience possible. I mean, it still just means the world to us. Well, it is it is interaction that a lot of people who especially are living alone are having, and it's, it's important for everyone to have that kind of socialization in any way we can have it. Um, Owen, you haven't seen your mom since this started, right? Yes, um, she has a condition that gives her a weak immune system. So me being on the front line for her safety, I haven't been able to go around her in the past three months since it started. When I talk to her, I have to talk to her through the door. So I, I still get to communicate some, but I can't go near her. She's sacrificing so I can be here on the front line to give back to her. Well, I wanted to give you a graduation gift. So I sent Jimmy uh, a box, and he has no idea what's inside. But I'd like you to pass out to uh, the graduates what's in there. Don't open yet, but just pass out to each of them. And Ellen, these are an amazing group of kids. Just amazing. They're, they're, they must be, and they're going to be more amazing because of this circumstance. I can guarantee you that. I just want to say that we have been partnering with this amazing company called Green Dot. They offer banking and saving made simple, which is important really now more than ever. And you're all focused on your future. So thanks to Green Dot, you can open those diplomas. Ah! You're each getting $10,000. Ah! 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 Thank you so much. Ah! You're welcome. Oh, thanks, Green Dot. Hey, Ellen, they wanted to throw their caps, too. So I hope you give them that opportunity. They haven't done it yet. Do, do it. Throw it. Throw them up in the air. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Janelle, Jimmy, I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.